Welcome back guys, welcome to the latest video. So today it's going to involve airbrushing, it's going to involve painting, it's going to involve a bit of gluing and it's going to involve some foliage. So stick around, it's a very long video, it's not much of me talking luckily for you guys but um, I put in lots of notes and that so stick with me and I'll see you towards the end of the video.
Okay guys, so quickly I thought I would just go through the technique that I use for washing my German late war armor. So I grabbed this black enamel wash from MIG. Um, I make sure I give my tank a gloss coat. So I use semi-gloss coat TS79 from Tamir. Once I've given that a good spray, I then put this uh, enamel wash down. So I'm not actually gonna put the enamel wash down, but I'm gonna tell you what I do. So I shake the bottle really well, put a little bit into a palette, or you can go straight from the bottle, making sure you're shaking the bottle every few minutes. If you do that or stirring your wash in the palette, because um, the paint separates from the, the thinners. So then once I've done that, I'm gonna do a pin wash. So when I'm doing my pin wash, I've got the enamel paint on my brush and I'm just gonna follow the lines down. And you'll see with the enamel wash, it will go down quite far already. So you don't need to just trace it with your paintbrush. You should just be able to put a dab in here and it will go left and right. And then you can put a dab down here and keep following it down, all right? So once you've done that, you just wanna just be doing all the panel lines. Don't be coating it on. All right, just do little bits. That's what we call, that's why we call it a pin wash because you're just focusing on the detail or the areas that you want to wash. You're not, I'm not putting it all over. I'm just following the lines that I can see and the detail that I want to capture. Another trick that I like to use, so once I've done an enamel wash here, sometimes I like to leave these bigger areas or the more detailed areas. So where the area is a bit thicker and there's a bit more of a gap, I might use an acrylic wash for that. You can still use your enamel wash, but I, sometimes I like to mix it up and put an acrylic wash in, which you'll see later on in the video. Um, so it's just a tip to know. Uh, I find it easy with an acrylic wash. Um, sometimes you need a couple of coats with an enamel wash. It's really up to you. But for those smaller details, all the little lines in that here, that's perfect. Then I leave it to dry for two hours. Once it's dry, one to two hours you can sort of see that this it will be super shiny when you first apply it and then it will start losing that some of that shine or that glossiness that's when I go in with this so what I initially do is if the areas are really um, if there's a bit of a pooling like quite a big pooling of, of wash I'll come through with just a dry column bud and nine times out of ten it will start coming away anyway Try and avoid actually going on the line because the enamel wash will just come straight out of there. So you want to sort of go as close as you can to it without pushing it away from the area that you want to look after. Once I've done that, if I still feel like it needs more of a um, cleanup, what I'll do is I'll grab the other end and I will grab some enamel odorless finish, so from MIG as well. And what I'll do, I'll just dip the earbud in just so it just touches. I'll wipe away the excess and so it's it's just damp, it's not soaking and I just repeat the process. It's as simple as that guys. I don't enamel wash the tracks. Um, you'll see what I do um, later on. So the tracks or the running gear or anything like that. So this whole area I leave unwashed. I use acrylic washes for that. But for the rest of it, I use my enamel wash. Um, the reason I wanted to explain it in more detail is because I've got plenty of videos showing me putting the wash on, but I thought it's probably easier to explain whilst I'm in the process of painting this, opposed to actually just filming me paint it. So I hope that's helped. If you want to actually see me painting, what I mean about just putting a little bit on and seeing it separate, you can watch some of the other videos I've got. I'll leave a link in the description and add a card in here so you can actually link to that if you want to. But I'll crack on with the rest of the video.
Well, that brings us to the end, guys. Um, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you stuck around this long, I really appreciate it. A um, bit different. I didn't want to be speaking too much. I really wanted you guys to s just see the process I take and, and get a really good idea, even though a lot of it's sped up, of exactly what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, again, really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching it through. And I've been getting a lot of positive feedback. Um, and hopefully this will be the end of the whirlwind spam. It's one of my favorite vehicles, so I had to really show it some love. Um, coming up to 500 subscribers too, so I'm really pumped for that. I never thought I'd get that far. So again, for all those that are really supporting me, I can't thank you guys enough. But yeah, really looking forward to hit that milestone and hopefully releasing something cool. Um, but yeah, thanks guys, and I will catch you at the next one.